بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم میں ایم سلمان مقصود رندھاوا ٹوڈے وی ویل پرپیر این ایونٹ بیسٹ ہیک ایچ ایم ایس مارڈل فار این انگیج وارٹر شیٹ یوزنگ کرو نمبر میتھڈ سو فار دیس وی نیڈ فالنگ ڈیٹا پرائی ٹو نیشیئیٹ آور مارڈل ڈیویلمنٹ کرو نمبر گریڈ دی ریفرنس آف دیس کرو نمبر گریڈ is given here this curve number global curve number grid has been prepared under a research project of Beirut University of USA and this paper is available on our web and links of data also given here you can go our web and do can download this data we extract this data using RJS tool as per our requirement and converted into the project coordinate systems that is 42N within RJS. A separate video is available for the extraction of the uh, uh, raster data as per our requirement and conversion of their unit systems or coordinate systems. And second required data is the dam site. This is a reference point where we want to delineate our watershed or where uh, design physiologies are required. The third data set is the digital elevation model. The source of this dam is the 90 meter SRTM. We extracted this dam in RGES and converted its coordinate systems into 42N because our project area is in 42N so the next data required prior to initiate the model development is the design hydrograph this is our design hydrograph at x axis there is time and at y axis there is rainfall in millimeters and other mandatory worksheets are the a worksheet for the estimation of the time of consideration we are using here the creepage equation because our area located in a hilly terrain and in hilly terrain creepage equation is applicable we have already prepared an worksheet and during the model, uh, model development we extract the length of longer streams from HMS model of sub basins and slopes of the model and incorporate in this worksheet which will automatically provide us the time of concentration so in let's start the development of a hack uh, hms model open the model go into the file click over new name it we name it hack hms there is the latest versions are available there is therefore this notification is appear here set the location of the project go into the project folder HMS HMS automated select default unit systems are metric and we keep the same because our digital elevation model is in meters click on create in our folder uh, go into the component components create basin model click on new create a basin model has been created here click on basin basin window will appear upon clicking the basin now go into the GES set the coordinate system Set, click over predefined click over UTM select the UTM and enter over right here 42 N we write here 42 N because our watershed area is 42 N coordinate system and click over WGS 84 because our uh, rasters are in WGS 84 click on select set coordinates of the basin window has been set 
in the next step go into the components tab and click over train data manager click over new next go into the folder project folder and select the dem select click over finish select the tra terrain one and save the model now train terrain has been appeared in our model in the next step we process the this terrain in hkms previously rgs which was very time taking and lengthy process now hkms uh, make it it easy and we can process this Subbasin geometry in the HHMS window. Uh, strain re reconditioning step is not required. The first step is the processing. Click over processing. In the next step, process drainage. In the next step, identify streams. Area to define streams in square kilometer is 7.7 .7 by default, but this will create a number of basin, lot of basin. So we want to create 10 to 12 sub basins. So this can be set iteratively. I have already checked it by various uh, by applying the various uh, area. So I set here. My result will come accurate with 30 kilometer scale. Click over OK. Now we add the reference point for the delineation of watershed or where we require the design discharges. Point has been appeared in the basin window. Uncheck the flow accumulation, flow direction, sinks location. Now only the identified streams and reference point for creation of watershed or discharge estimation remains in the basin window but the uh, streams are not visible or generated up to the reference point to create to generate these streams we need to update the properties of streams so for this go into the draw properties tab and increase the area here which will generate the stream or stream will be appear up to our reference point the total catchment area of our watershed is about 760 767 square kilometers uh, and there is also a buffer above the watershed so we enter here, here roughly 900 km square apply here apply now the stream appeared here in the basin window up to our reference point click over cross select the breakpoints breakpoints will generate the watershed at our required point click we can also import the breakpoints created in the RGS. In current model, we select the breakpoint and click over at over required location. Click create. In the next step, go into delineate elements, set prefix for subbasins S, for reaches R, for junctions, select J, delineate. Oh yes, this is great. Now for further processing, go into the parameters and sub basin area for 
extraction of our riches click over all elements area or all subspecies are here now you can paste here the areas close it go into the hms correct go into the character 6 sub basin we have selected here an area so first unselect the area now go again into the parameters tab and click over sub basin under the character 6 now uh, the character 6 of all sub basin has been appeared in this window copy the longest slope path length in kilometer and paste it into the our already created worksheet remove this the additional data now go again this will this has been automatically converted into the fit and copy the slope basin slope longest flow path slope this is required copy the longest flow path slope and paste it here now this creates the input data of hms and in the next step go into the reaches go into parameters tab and reaches tab there are five reaches in our watershed so first select the length of reaches which is in kilometer and paste it in the excel file in the next step go again and copy the slope paste the slope in the excel file this provides the lag time which will be incorporated in the hms model so in the next step go into the basin tab and parameterize the hack hms model select the curve number method select the ses unit idograph method we are working in this methods in later videos we will work over other methods for generation an event go into discretization and this is required to handle the curve number grid in hack hms model select your coordinate system our project coordinate system is rd42n 
select the 5000 now it will create a 5000 into 5000 kilometer uh, 5 5 into 5 kilometer grid click on save now go into the components and greedy data manager create the curve number grid here SES curve number grids click over SES create new create now there is an options of selecting the hack dss file which can be prepared using hack dss view asc2 file this is a text file this can also be created using uh, rgs and got file this is the easiest for us got file we have uh, already available so we select this option of GOT file. Select the file. No, this one to be created. Yes, yes, here is the file, raster file of curve numbers. Click over open. These are curve numbers are dimensionless. There is, th therefore, there is no units. Click over save. Now the <coughs> curve number grid has been prepared uh, for selection this curve number into the for updation this curve number into the HMS go into the loss there is also uh, initial and constant loss selected for suppression select over change methods for making the loss method same for all subbasins do not click over grid SES curve number click over SES curve number now change the method the method has been changed in all all sub basin loss method curve number this is the curve number so go again into the loss method Select the SES curve number, unselect for appear to make appear the all the sub basin here. So go into the last method, select over SES curve number all sub basins are here now click over calculator use the curve number grid and calculate click over curve number here now calculate close it calculate 
ओके 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 वी फॉर फॉर गॉड टू कंप्यूट द ग्रिड सेल्स नाउ कंप्यूट द ग्रिड सेल्स there is a problem in discretization method go again into the parameters discretization change method yes structured change parameter structured uh i think this can be done manually for each sub basin select 42n and 5000 select 42n and 5000 select 42n and 5000 select apply your art and close go into bs grid cell now go into the loss method ss curve number and go into the calculator Select over curve number grid, calculate. Now the curve number for we have selected here curve number for antecedent runoff condition three. Uh, so the all the curve number of each sub basin separately has been appeared in the initial abstraction tab, which is not correct. This should should be appeared in curve number tab so go again into the we mistakenly do not change here uh, curve number from initial abstraction then again click curve number calculate now the curve numbers for arc3 condition has been appeared in the curve number column delete the initial abstraction and apply this now the curve number has been applied automatically in all sub basins this is very easy now you can see the s7 94.4 94.4 95.4 so in next step add the reach parameters loss method ss curve number method transform method change transform method into ss unit hydrograph so if we select a sub basin selected at the time of change this method then only that sub basin will be 
this uh, method of that submission will only be changed so for change of transform method or any other method in all submission the submission should be unselected now click select ses unit hydrograph change now we parameterize the ses unit hydrograph method and insert the lag times copy the lag times of reaches which are required in minutes in hkms model paste here apply and close now we parameterize the reach routing methods by default hkms showing the lag time method this is we have also selected the same method click over lag and insert here lag time which we have been estimated separately in an excel sheet go into the reaches excel sheet copy the lag times and paste them here in the model apply close now all the parameter has been incorporated in our hkms, HKMS model there is some base flow we know do not need the base flow so go into the parameters for change the base flow of all sub basins click over none now sub uh, loss base flow of all sub basins has been converted into the none now our, our basin model has been completed and we have incorporated all the sub basin parameters in hkms model now this can be checked individually by going into the sub basin tab separately now update the meteorological model go into the meteorological me model in components create met model Sp uh, specified hydrograph is okay going to replace missing tab and set to default okay incorporate the precipitation gauge go into the components tab time series data manager and precipitation gauge create we have hydrograph of 1 hour so select the 1 hour time interval we have rainfall in incremental millimeters so there is no need to change the units there are other options are also available cumulative millimeter incremental inches incremental millimeters is okay for us now set the time window we have hydrograph of 24 hour but uh, update this time window to the total simulation time of the hkms model that is occurrence of rainfall and it's routing through the watershed up to the outlet and generation of a com complete flood hydrograph go into the hydrograph excel sheet copy the hydrograph this is a and this is a centrally loaded hydrograph and paste it into the table insert zero into the remaining cells save the window now create the control specification manager 
create new create update the time window our hydrograph has time interval of 1 hour so we set the simulation time of the model of 1 hour the time of uh, simulation should be compatible with the time of our time series data we are have entering a random value of time because we are working over a design hydrograph design flood there is no need to specify the any specific time so click over save and check again the time window of meteorological model now create the add here sub basin in meteorological model configuration of meteorological model is also necessary and select the gauge here for all sub basin the same gauge we have also al already processed the design rainfall by carrying out the frequency analysis and applied the re reduction factors and 1 day to 24 hour rainfall conversion factor factors over the design rainfall and converted into the rainfall pattern using the design rainfall hydrograph so now the hkms model basin model meteorological model control specific specifications have have dated for simulation now we can create the simulation run create simulation run create next 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 finish now run the results we can see the results in the results tab for each basin sub separately and seeing this is the resulted hydrograph at the basin outlet we can click thank you ji